USA, ladies and gentlemen, we are here in New York, New York. I came here 20 years ago as a fresh schoolboy, pretty much. I learned English here. It was 20 years ago, 2003, and now we're back. We're going to spend a lot of time here doing a few things. First of all, I have business meetings here. We're going to see a big car trader. You know, I run sellanycar.com, so there's companies that do similar things here. So we're going to go and visit them. But then also we're going to fly to Detroit. In Detroit, actually there is a university called the University of Michigan and they're doing research, medical research, which I'm supporting for the illness of my sister. We're gonna visit the professors and the researchers, how they actually work in the laboratory to figure out if there is a cure for this so-called incurable disease, which I don't believe. I think every disease is curable. My sister has a rare form of epilepsy and I hope we can solve it one day. So whenever she sees this video, I'll do it for you, my love. Okay, guys, we came to Times Square. This was my favorite place on earth. Probably the first day I arrived in New York, I came here to see it. Let's check it out. By the way, we're gonna record now for German State TV. It's the largest public state TV in Germany. We're recording a reality show. And yeah, just be behind the scenes. He really had a lot of drive. He kept calling me. I was busy at the time, but he was persistent and always called me and said, look, I'm coming, I'm coming. He had a, a partner at the time. So it was me and my partner coming, DJ Blader. We want to go over there and uh, DJ. And finally I gave in and I said, okay, look, I'm coming, I'll put you to DJ. And was he already a good in DJing or uh, started he? Uh... It was the beginning of his career. So he, I'm not going to go ahead and sugarcoat it. He wasn't a great DJ, but. You won't believe it, man. I got the prescription from the doctor. You Americans pay so much money for doctors, man. It's like almost $800 for pills. In Dubai, we would have gotten it for free almost. How do people get sick here and then cure it? It's expensive. $749 for like pills, two weeks of pills. So, Listen. you want to take it there to vacation fast? Yeah, I'll take, it. take it there too fast, okay? So tomorrow come in May. Do you need it back? No, no, I'm good, okay. I'm good, thank you. <laughs> Bag costs right. another $20 though. No, 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 no we're good. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, I'll see you tomorrow. Sorry, good morning, guys. Please come in. Welcome. Guys, actually being in New York is a bit hard because I have meetings in Dubai time zones. So I had to wake up today at 4 a.m. and then finish the meetings I have in Dubai. And now, Actually, they still continue. I have another meeting in Istanbul, Turkey. So that is another different time zone. And then once all that is done, actually around midday, I can then start my meetings here in New York. Isn't this amazing? The only problem is sleep. <laughs> so I have to kind of sleep early here. Like early for me is around 11 p.m. So that I can sleep until like 4. So I have a good five hours. And from then, I can start all my meetings. It's, yeah, it's a bit challenging. So today, what we're going to do is we're actually going to analyze a few new business ideas. Some of them have received a lot of investment. So we're going to look into that, deep dive into it. And the framework for that is actually in my book. So if you go to page 68, it's something called All That Glitters Is Not Gold. And there we have a framework of six questions we ask ourselves. We're going to go through that and then see if these business ideas, some of them are already established businesses, actually fulfill those six questions. And then we're going to look into productivity tools. So see if we have some tools that might help you conduct your business. So look into business ideas. Maybe they are interesting for your market. Then look into productivity tools, some tools that you can use for your business. So if you want to get this book, you can get it anywhere actually, or digitally, you go to startuphero.com slash members, and there you can get the entire book 
as a video version. It's called the Masterclass. It is included. And on top of that, you get all the XXL vlogs, so the extended versions of these vlogs. You get the business ideas, inspirations, and the productivity tools, sessions, the whole sessions, actually, all included in those. So if you want to check it out, go there, startuphero.com slash members. And now we're going to continue our day in New York. And the good thing about New York is you could just walk out, walk down, and get some lunch anywhere. Okay, we're somewhere here in Soho. Like always, there's always a Starbucks somewhere. Hi there, just corner. I think they're like at every corner. I forgot, guys. I have stomach issues. It's delicious, but I can't eat it. We need to find maybe salad or some fish. Okay, which way? That way. Guys, I found a place called S. You know, S in the German means food. So, and it says, fast, slow food. Fast, slow food. So let's see what that is. This looks delicious and healthy. It's actually really fast and it's slow. That's slow. Okay guys, that was a quick way to actually bypass the traffic. And now we're here flying to Detroit because the University of Michigan has a laboratory I'm actually supporting for medical research. We're going to visit the professors, the researchers, hear from them what they are actually working on, and even meet the founder of the foundation, the Dravet Syndrome Foundation. That's the syndrome my sister has. And see what she has to say and what our work is actually contributing to their efforts. to become an overnight success overnight success I'll tell you how I became overnight success in 2000 in the year 2000 I was 16 years old and I wanted to become a professional football player and I failed in the year 2002 and 2003 I actually wanted to become an aesthetic plastic surgeon and I failed in 2004 till 2008 I actually studied I was a student and I was a DJ I didn't become a world famous DJ and I just learned business in 2009, I actually started my online fashion company and I worked 18 hours a day. And in 2010, we became the most successful e-commerce company in the Middle East. Yeah, so it took 10 years to become an overnight success. Whoever is telling you that, you know, you can become an overnight success, they don't see the decade of work that actually makes you an overnight success. And some people, they actually need two decades. So if you become an overnight success, you probably played the lottery and won. Otherwise, you have to see the actual work behind it that many, many people put in to be ready when luck hits the door. Are you gonna Open the door or you're gonna be asleep. When I get in, I take a shower, read a book and feel empowered. Smoking on that sour, got me counting down the hours. Thinking of all the shit that they could do but won't allow us. Then I realize they all some fucking cowards. The world is ours. Detroit, we made it. This is Dearborn, Detroit, actually. Man, I've never been here. We just finished up eating lunch. Now we're gonna go to the university and talk to the professors, the researchers, and see what they're doing in the labs to actually find 
treatments for epilepsy and other medical conditions. Yeah, I'm curious. Thank you for all this, by the way. Well, you made this happen, that's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Hi, nice to see you. Nice to see you in person. Right. Yeah. Jeff, this is Sagan. This is Dr. Karen. All right. Jeff, Hi, Karen. Nice Pleasure to meet you. you. So first of all, I'm here to thank you, by the way, because whatever you're doing is great, and I think it could change a lot of people's lives. And I know we're just a small drop in the ocean. And um, yeah, that's first of all my appreciation for everything you do. And also for Marianne, obviously, because I think she's the reason why I'm kind of been able to get in touch with you, but also generally why I keep on doing this uh, in pursuit of solving our big issue, our common issues we have. I think uh, that is obvious. And um, yeah, we, we come a long way, I guess, and, and we have a long way to go. That That is also... My first question pretty much so how does it look how else could we help I definitely cannot help with knowledge and what you're doing but probably in some other resources you might be interested in yeah so um, I mean this is an exciting time because there are so many new treatments models to study Duret syndrome one of our patients um, went from over 50 seizures a month to less than two, one or two oh, a wow. month. And he's held that now for over a year, about 18 months. And um, the, his mom and mom just cannot say enough great things about it. And also thinks that his attention, his cognition, his ability to work in school are really different. It changes all our lives. These kids have not gone through that if we can change it and reverse the genetics that they need to go through. So it's not going to be overnight. It's going to be a process, but at least then they have that, that opportunity. As far as I understood, they take stem cells and it creates a brain. And you can even create certain parts of a brain. Yeah. I mean, it's mind blowing. It's brain blowing. Okay. It feels so unimportant <laughs> and significant. Come back. You can do a you little You make brains. In my I lab. sell cars. There's a huge yeah. difference. Yeah, right? I mean, come on. You know, I had a child who passed away when he was eight. Oh, he wow. had epilepsy. We never found a diagnosis. And so I never had a landing place of a community. And so I've seen how powerful that is when families receive an accurate diagnosis and they come into this community. And not only is there the hope of research, but there's a community of people around them to embrace them, to give them support, to share what's worked, what hasn't worked. And that's so powerful for families. I mean, so. I, I remember in January, you remember when I reached out regarding yes. my sisters? Oh, it was awful. I was so worried about her when you were sending those updates. That's terrible. I had nobody to call. And people reach out to me, parents, and they ask, uh, well, my, my brother, my sister, they have seizures, can you help? And I always say check for this, the exact type. Could be Dravé, could be something else. But don't just treat them based on epilepsy, right? Guys, it was an inspiring day. We're going back to New York. You've seen what the researchers are working on and how inspiring and life-changing it can be for others, right? This is what I love to support and I love to see their progress because their progress is all our progress. So, i see you in New York. Guys, we have a situation. We're not allowed to fly because of the weather. Actually, not the weather here, but the weather in New York. So we have to wait 45 minutes. Maybe get to go, go order a pizza. Let's go. The best out of any situation, guys, we just ordered pizza. For all of us, please join. Cheese, cheese, veggie, veggie. All right, it's been two hours, guys. The weather is clearing up. I think we need another 30 minutes and then we got to go.
Guys, we made it to New York. It's midnight. Man, and actually we have a flight in around eight hours again. And we're going to Miami. Do you know how a garage for jets looks? It's called a hangar. Check this out. Look, this is how a garage needs to look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven jets, guys. Good morning, guys. <clears throat> it's been an early morning and we came here again, back to the FPO. And I've just been reflecting back on yesterday. I mean, wasn't it so impressive that you feel we should, as a humanity, invest more into research like this? I mean, if you think about it, we do invest a lot into military, right? Which is like $2,000 billion a year as humans. More like $2 trillion. <laughs> That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And in the US, which is the country that invests most into military, but also most into research and development. For example, research and development into health is around $162 billion a year, which is a lot of money, but it could be more, right? Because as you know, the researchers need money to actually find solutions for all the biggest problems we have in the world, which is obviously big diseases, for example. And that is why I'm supporting this much more, as much as I can, because the impact these humans can make, it is literally something that could change the world. So instead of buying another luxury item, I feel like we should funnel more towards that. Now for the good part, we are flying to Miami. So stay tuned, it's gonna be amazing. Florida, we're coming. Test me in again, we let it rain. Please don't start us up. Got that black and white, they ain't game. Mr. Officer, please don't search.